One of the problems you might run into when you are uh, creating your Laravel applications is if you're doing everything within um, the MVC architecture, what you'll find is your models become very bloated and your models uh, end up doing all kinds of different things. They're serving as an ORM, they're serving as an abstraction layer over the database for fetching information, for inserting data, and they're also um, doing all kinds of other different things such as like if we take our user class for example um, it's already doing quite a lot here then you might want to add your own custom methods such as get all users and get active members and all kinds of things like that and what's going to happen is your user class is going to get really huge and um, we cannot we don't want to put lots of logic in the controller the controller should really just be a transport layer for um, you know, calling up some information, fetching it from somewhere, um, from one of the models or from um, one of your repositories, and then passing it off to the view. So the controller should be um, a transport layer, and the view should be um, really just for displaying data. There should definitely not be any logic going on in there, and that so le that leaves the models to do everything else. And um, in order to avoid for your models getting really bloated, like how I just explained. What you can do is create your own custom application folder, like I did here, the leads folder. And you can put all kinds of different things that you want in here. You can create a repository. And really what this serves for is for doing all of your business logic. So right now I have a leads class inside here, and it's named based with a leads repository. And there's going to be a bunch of different behavior in here um, that has to do with actual leads on the website. And I also have a site folder, and I might put some things here about um, site, you know, not configuration, but maybe about the domain name and different things that relate to the website. And I'll create more uh, classes as necessary, trying to um, separate all the things into their, their own uh, individual classes. I think all different Laravel programmers will organize their site in their own way and I think that's a good thing you know you have to do what's comfortable for you but for me what I will do is I will create um, this site folder and I will keep the models but I'll use the models strictly as an abstraction layer over the database so I'll use the models um, which of course extend eloquent I'll use that for fetching information from the database for doing inserts and things like that but I won't I won't put um, I won't put business logic in here that will happen um, usually within the repository or some other class um, within my application folder which in this case is called leads after you create this folder if you want to um, call some of these methods from within your controller for example um, by default Laravel won't be able to find this folder so you'll need to um, you'll need to auto load that with Composer. For example, in our lead controller here, what you would um, initially have to do is you would need to use the class. So in my case, it's called um, leads repository slash leads. And then we would be able to use this class within the controller. You'll see I, I have only reference leads down here in a bunch of places. So we'll also need to um, just use a local alias here so we would do as leads. However, once you auto load this um, repository with um, with Composer, you don't need to put this here. And if you alias um, use the specific classes within app.php, uh, you'll see here I have um, leads repository leads aliased as leads here um, in my config app.php. And I also have a site one I've added here, site which references leads repository site and after you do this in your controller you can simply um, reference those directly so you'll see if I go over to the website here and I refresh um, that's loading just fine so what we need to do is we need to go over to our composer.json file and we need to um, load this in now there's different ways to load in your own custom classes you could um, add it into the class map here but if you use the class map, every time you add a new class, um, you should come in here to add it. Whereas if you use um, PSR4 auto loading, you only need to um, really add your main um, application folder here one time 
and it's going to be able to find all of the classes um, you, you have put in there. So the way you do that is go into your auto load JSON object right here and you add a new element PSR-4 and then colon and then um, inside the object you'll add the name of your um, custom folder in my case it's called leads and this is all case sensitive so make sure you have it exactly the same leads and then backslash backslash and then after that um, again using the same case in my case it's app slash leads so I'm inside the app folder here and the folder is called um, leads so you'll just make that exactly the same Another thing I've added to the Composer JSON file is this um, is this files property right here. The files property is a bit different. It's set to an array, and inside that you will place um, all of the different files you've added. I've just added a helper.php. Um, it doesn't have anything special in it right now, but when I do add my helper functions here, it will um, be able to found because I've placed in Composer JSON. So the files is set to an array, but PSR-4 is set to an object. So just make sure um, you've made that distinction. The next next thing you can do is go over to your command line, and you'll just type in composer dump autoload. So obviously you should be inside your Laravel project here. You should see um, the composer.json file, and that's where you want to run composer dump autoload. Once that's done. Um, you should be able to go into your vendor folder of your Laravel project and you can open up the composer folder within that and click autoload-psr4 and you should see your um, custom folder inside there. If you don't see it, it could be a permissions issue so you want to make sure that um, your application has the permissions to write to these files and then it should be able to write to this um, no problem. There's also an autoload files.php here and you'll see that it's written to this one as well and you can see the app helpers.php right there so the full namespace of these things that I've um, created is um, leads backslash repository and this is important in PSR4 um, this has to be exact so you'll notice inside the leads folder I have capital R repository and then leads.php in site okay so this namespace is exactly the same as those folder names and the PSR form needs this in order to find them. So you could continue to add new folders in here, um, maybe one about domain names, we could call it domain.php and after you do this you would just need to um, run composer dump autoload again um, in order to be able to use those new classes within your application. So that should be that shouldn't be a file or a sort of folder that should be a file, but um, you get my gist. So you can now use these classes within your application um, to make my life a little bit easier, so that I didn't need to use the whole namespace here. For example, um, leads slash uh, repository slash leads. In order to make um, life a little easier, you can go into your config folder and then app.php and you can load these in as an alias. So you can see when I just reference leads now, leads is going to point to the full namespace here. And the same thing down here, um, the full namespace. If I go to the um, application and refresh, you'll see that everything's working just fine and the code is nice and clean.